Alrighty guys, that water is pumping. Let's go have a look. Alrighty, that's our uh, one water fall that's absolutely pumping compared to normal. Um, anyways, we'll head up this way. And um, basically we're heading out, we just left the jet ski in town and we're heading out um, probably about two hours if we can make it there. But we've got two rivers that we've got to cross and uh, if they're pumping like that, we won't be crossing them. Um, we're going to option two, which is another river. But we're gonna head up there, um, see what the country's looking out there and check the height of these rivers, see how we go. Ah, we're laughing. I was uh, freaking out about this one. The water has been, at some stage, pumping through here. And you know, that's, that's bloody high when it's up there. So uh, we're laughing for the first crossing. I don't know if it's washed out in there or how deep it is. It's a bit scary. I don't know if there's a log across there or what. Hmm. Okay, I'm going searching for a measuring, oh my god, measuring little stick. Oh, what about this one? This one? It's like as tall as me. Yeah, if it's deeper than that, I don't reckon we cross. <laughs> Alright, found a measurer. Oh, that was easy. Neutral. <laughs> Current pushing. Um, you got your stick? We'll go in the middle, we'll have a little look. Try and feel if you can see if it's like slushy mud or if it's rocky. Have a red hot crack, mate. Not too deep, eh? Okay, so Josh is confident. I'm not, I'm <laughs> kind of freaking out, but he reckons it's fine. So, just gotta trust him, I guess. Um. We did it. That was a bit easier than what I thought, I'll give it that, but not worth taking the risk. Not when we've got our whole life in there at the moment. I just had a bit of a doozy, I was just crossing this one and I didn't want to go over there. And I just, I don't know if you can see the cars on a lean and when I get out. Oh. It was uh, very soft on that other side. I don't even know if I can lock the hub. I was not expecting that, eh? <laughs> he just stole it. <laughs> Alright, 
Alrighty, we've got here. We've got the tinny down there. We've got the tarp set up, tent, chairs, and we've got a big storm <laughs> brewing. Looks like it's coming over real quick, so I think we're gonna we're gonna cop that soon. Hopefully our setup's alright. We've just got the tarp tied off to the car, tied off to the tree, and um, we're just gonna hope for the best. <laughs> We we're gonna go for a fish, but that, that storm's coming in bloody hot. So. Jesus! <laughs> All good, mate? Yeah. Alright, the tub's fully loaded. Got the esky, some lures, a couple of rods. We're gonna check those pots I put in yesterday and um, we're down to the left and we'll just start having a flick and see if we can find any fish or any cool shit. Let's go. Go on. Oh, here we go. Come on, Bobby. Come on, get it. Oh, it's gonna snag me. Massive barrel. It's gonna snag me. Get Massive out, snake. Barrel. Come on, get it out. Massive barrel. Big, big barrel. Oh, I might need to dry. Yeah. No, it's gonna get on that snag. Oh, no! That was a big, big barrel. So we're just fishing here. Oi, Toro, get away. And I've just cast netted and pulled up this stingray with a big bite out of it. You're kidding. That is insane. I don't know if there was a little croc here before. I don't know if that did it. It's been in a bloody battle. But just before we pulled up this little croc here, slid off there. That's wild, but something has absolutely smashed this stingray. Look at the wounds on it. It looks like a crocodile, eh? Yeah. Crocodile sharks take a bit cleaner bite. That just looks ferocious. Oh, that poor thing. Yeah, is it gonna survive? Nah, definitely not. Poor bugger. Oh, did you lose it? No, 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 it's still on. Watch the back of the boat. Yeah, it's out there still. It's just your baits come up. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what is it? Oh, yeah, just pull it up. Little sharky boy. Little baby shark. That was hectic. <laughs> Very first catch of the trip, a little shark. <laughs> I'll let this one go, eh? Sorry. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Don't go in the water, mister. <laughs> Off he goes. I thought it was gonna glide off a little more <laughs> gracefully than that. <laughs> oh, good job, first. First catch. First catch. <laughs> Chris is on again. What do you got this time? Yeah. That took off pretty hard. <sighs> That's got a bit of weight to it. Probably this way is going to the mangoes. What is it? Oh, it's a jack. Taro, get it up on the bank. On the bank. Oh, <laughs> woo! Oh, Taro, get up. Yeah, jack, jack, jack. That's sick. Holy. That's a good one. Second fish, a nice little mangrove jack. How good is that? That's perfect for us to eat, hey. What'd you catch that on? Garfish, wasn't it? Yeah, gar. Yeah, I think I've got it on a gar. Yeah. 
he's definitely lunch or dinner or something because we're a bit scarce for food um we've got a bit in the fridge in the car but he's going in the air stuff let's have another look at him you see the colors so cool Pretty sick. that's wicked eh? we'll put him in this esky we got ice in here still yeah <laughs> on the ice nice see you later so we got a nice little slab of jack, one each. We're going to um, lightly crumb it in some salt and vinegar sarkatars. So I'll just get the skin off this one and then um, we'll uh, crumb them up. We've relocated. Turns out you just tip your crumbs on the table and just, you know, <laughs> lather them in it. Works a lot better. Light salt and vinegar. Put some oil on the pan. Alrighty, we'll come out of here so you can see a bit better. Whoa, there's a rope there. Must be time for a beer and a cider. And we got mangrove jack, lots of mayonnaise, and our special rice. Alrighty, you caught it, so. I had to too. <laughs> Look at me providing. Providing for the fam. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Good. Yummy. Can you taste the salt and vinegar or not? No, it's just like crummy. Crispy. Yeah. yeah. Mm, that's good. Good? Not bad for a bush theme. Alright, we're gonna jump out from this rain under our little whatever you want to call this camp setup. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to call that tinny. And uh we need some tucker. Alright, so we've tried to leave camp and that first initial crossing that we showed you guys is so much higher. Um, so. Yeah, we're in a bit of strife. Um, fair bit more rain than what we thought. And yeah, we could barely fish because there was so much rain. So we finally like got a break and we packed up and come back to the river and it's probably two meters higher than when we crossed it. When we crossed it was fine, but two meters higher. It's like up there. We can't cross it. We might have to go and eat some sharks or some shit. I don't know. You wanted to go camping. Don't even put this on me. Do not blame me. Yeah, hey, radio, mate. Radio. Not even going to tell you off. And Josh is setting up a contraption with the winch and some snatch straps to sort of help us get pulled across. Uh, drowned it in that water so pull the glow plugs out round it over and heaps of water come out so the boys are gonna give us a tow up the road try and get all the water out pull the glow plugs back in and we hopefully are back on the road stressful so we didn't film but um we put the glow plugs back in and 
she starts, but she's blowing a shitload of smoke, so. Mwah. What a car. What a freaking car. Drowned it, pulled the glow plugs out, got the water out. Boom, start. We've been driving for, I don't know, 20 minutes now. Hard still bit racing, but she seems to be going fine, so. There you go, then Chris alive. Now get me to a shower. <laughs>